Hello. Filming, are you? Well, I've got a couple of minutes, so uh, why don't you come down here? Hey, all right. What lot are you then, eh? BBC, ITV, eh? Oh, I love ITV, love it, love it. You know, people tend to think of uh, us policemen as soft hearted, sentimental sort of blokes with a ready smile and an heart of gold. Ambling up and down the high street, patting babies on the head, cracking jokes, winking, and. Uh, Helping little old ladies across the road from one side to the other. But you know, the reality is very different from that. The policeman of today, half new madam, is a very different sort of fella. As the Americans say, the old ball game is being played on a, on a different pitch from the pitch on which the, uh, the ball game began to be played before they changed it. When I amble up and down the streets nowadays, and I love to amble, don't get me wrong, I'm a very keen ambler, so is my wife. I have to be very, very careful. Because the slower I amble, the more of a target I present for the high velocity rifle with the telescopic sights, or the laser beam aimed straight through the top of my helmet from a satellite hung 200 miles up in the sky. When I help a little old lady across the road nowadays, I can no longer take it for granted that she is a little old lady and not a dangerous anti-personnel device planted there by the forces of international crime. How can I be sure that beneath the little sort of beige cardigan that her sister knitted for her the Christmas before last, she hasn't got 240 pounds of jelly ignite strapped in interconnecting rods to the side of her chest? How can I be sure when I look inside her little shopping bag, underneath the apples cakes and the jar of Vic, I'm not going to find a sawn off wall for PPK capable of knocking the head off a chicken six miles away. Now, I like helping old ladies across the road, don't get me wrong. But this is 1981. And so fast has been the decline in the respect for human life that I now have no option but to leave that little old lady in the middle of the road and run like hell. Similarly, when I see a little baby sitting in its pram with a new little bonnet on, and I want to go and pat it on the head, which I like to do because I love babies, and so does my wife. Babies and ambling. I have to say to myself, no, hang on, Eric, be careful. There's probably eight mafia hoods. Come on, get the camera up there. There's probably eight mafia hoods crouching behind the chemist across the road, waiting to blow that baby to smithereens as soon as I lay a finger on it. That's why. Nowadays, when I see a little baby, I don't go up and pat it on the head and grin and chuck it under the cheek. I'll stuff it straight in a bag and send it down to the forensic department. Now, some people think I'm crazy. Doctors, psychiatrists, experts in the field of mental health, friends, neighbours, colleagues, workmates, kids, window dressers, dancers, that sort of thing. But they don't know how I see it. They don't know that policemen no longer live in a little toy town world. Oh no, we no longer live in the little world of Hewn beamishes, little wooden houses, little wooden people, and little wooden crimes. I wish we did. My life would be a lot easier if I only had Noddy and Big Ears to knock the living daylights out of on a Friday night. No trouble rounding up the suspects. You made the wood? No, right, you can go home. It's not like that, and it never will be. Not anymore. Because the old ball game is a quite different ball game to the ball game that I used to play before the ball game changed. My advice to you nowadays, if you see a policeman ambling up and down the street, patting little babies on the head, winking, being charming, being friendly, kissing the postmistress, don't attack him straight away. Come down the station, we'll send a man round to have him removed. Here. Oh, here. You got permission to film? Right, come on, I'm having you lot. Come on, you're next. You're Harry flexing a lot, and you, come on. And those people behind there, come on. Oh, I should have realised. Yeah, got me for a minute, didn't you? Well, got me for about three minutes, 15 seconds, actually, but still, that's not an effect. You're illegally filming in a non-filming area. 